Hey everybody and welcome to Northern Land Tries Mini Golf Club. You know me. There's a few genres of games I look for uh, when I'm looking for Northern Land Tries. Room Escape, Roguelite, Deck Builder. There's probably others, but uh, mini golf is up there. Sports games in general, especially indie sports games, I'm a big fan of. But uh, this is a, a very golf with your friends esque mini golf game that came out on Steam today. It has online multiplayer, which is like the number one thing I look for in a mini golf game to see if it's, you know. Really, like, I hate to say it, but in order to be kind of worth its salt, you're competing with Golf It, Golf With Your Friends, other games with online mini golf, uh, you know, in the game. You gotta, you gotta have online multiplayer, and thankfully they do. Um, but for now, we're just going to play a little bit of the uh, of the single player here and, and see how it stacks up. Hole one. Not a big problem. See what kind of... Oh. Okay, so I see how we're doing it here. You got a different style of, of stroke. And would you look at that. Hole in one. I, I feel like I did a, a fantastic job. It's also like... Uh, my controller's vibrating. If my controller's vibrating, I might as well use it, you know? Um, so this looks very familiar. Thinking you want to do something like that, maybe? <laughs> I don't know what it is about mini golf games that makes them so popular. I know cynically some people will say, like, uh, it's the fact... Uh, we're we're going to use mouse and keyboard, by the way. Some people are going to say it's the fact that they're easy to make, relatively speaking. And to be honest with you, I do think that's, like, that's part of the appeal. Um... I think people also like playing them. Like, I, I really see these as almost like the the modern-day versions of, like, uh, you know, free-to-play... Not free-to-play, just free Flash, like, online games. That's, uh... It's kind of the way I see it now. The one thing I will say, and, and it always... And we've, we've talked about it myriad times in the past. Why are there so many mini-golf games? Bogey. Bogey. Nobody out there is making... There's a... Well... Not enough people are out there making bowling games. You know what I mean? Excuse me, I'm just gonna just gonna close. I'm gonna hermetically seal the environment here. We need more parlor games, is what I'm trying to say. Why why so many mini golf? And it, if you're the devs of this game, I apologize because you're like, why is he choosing our game <laughs> to be the one where he makes a stand? But. Uh, no, it's like, I, I like the mini-golf games, don't get me wrong. Don't get me wrong, I mean, we've done two simulated... <sighs> oh, baby. Two simulated Golf With Your Friends tournaments in the Golden Goblet. Not to mention a Golf With Your Friends uh, tournament of shame. However, I'm, I'm just like, where's the bowling, man? Come on. Come on. Th throw some bowling into the mix, too. So I think I, I can already tell you how you're gonna feel about this game comes down to uh, a couple of things. One of them... Oh, I just a misclick, basically. It's okay, it's a par 4. We still got a chance at uh, a birdie. It's a very benevolent course here. Um, how do you feel about the stroke system that we got in the game right now? You know? Golf with your friends is... Uh, you kind of pull back until you get uh, your, your ball ready to go. Oh, this is spicy, dude. Uh, in this one, you just hold down. Water hazard. Water hazard. Oh, come on. <laughs> in this one, you just hold down on the power meter until you get where you want to go. Does that appeal to you? I mean, they're all pretty much... They're cut from the same cloth. Let's put it that way, right? Um... It's it's intuitive enough so far. I will say I I never I don't know the physics of like real world miniature golf, you know, hard coded into my brain. Um, but it feels a, a little like a little heavy, for sure. But not in a bad way necessarily. Um, I think it really comes down to what kind of how do you like the stroke? I know I'm just gonna say it because that's what the honest to goodness uh, question you gotta ask yourself is here. The other questions you gotta ask yourself: How much do you like mini golf, and how many mini golf games do you already own? I mean, this. Come on. What do you mean water hazard? That ain't no water hazard, brother. We got chopped in half by the tool of the French Revolution right there. Let's go. Um, you know, th this may be like the 11th miniature golf game 
Oh, apparently spaces also shoot. I was trying to see if I can get free camera. <laughs> so it's really... Oh, no, 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 no. It's really a question of two things. Your appetite and also, you know, how much miniature uh, golf food you already got in your plate. It's a decent looking game. In fact, I would say, like, from an asset and, and texture standpoint, it actually might even look nicer than, than golfing and golf with your friends. Although the environments, you know, do leave a little bit to be desired, maybe in personality. So we're a scratch golfer. We got a hundred coins. And apparently, we're just straight up continuing here. The only other thing I would concern myself with is, like, do we have different biomes? What is the robustness of the online modes? Because I'll tell you straight up. That was a great first shot, by the way. But I'll tell you straight up, one way you could really differentiate with a game like this from, and I keep talking about golf with your friends, but I think that's the biggest mini golf game uh, on Steam right now. One way you could really differentiate, oh, it's so close, dude. Don't drop me, though. Thank you. Thank you for not dropping me. That, that gets you two more points out of 100 in my book to begin with here. Your willingness to not drop me. You love to see it. Um, is, is by having, like, built-in tournaments. Uh, and, and other just, like, alternative ways of playing it that are not just, like, ah, workshop courses. And don't, don't get me wrong, I like the workshop courses in golf with your friends, but to, like, be able to create a scaffolding of, of actual, uh, oh, uh, of, of actual tournament play would be really nice and not have to keep track of the scores yourself. You know, the golf club, uh, does an amazing job of doing that. I really think the golf club... Kick me? Uh oh. The Golf Club uh, 2019, I think it does a fantastic job of stuff like that. But also, that game's a little bit more hardcore. You may not always be, be down to stay that focused. You might just want to sometimes log on with your friends and be like, you know what, we're going to do some left clicking. But I will say, from, from inauspicious beginnings, we're starting to get into some more complicated course designs here. There is Steam Workshop support for the game, which again, I mean, I think these are things that basically have to be ticked off the list um, in order for a mini golf game to be interesting in, in 2020, which I was going to say the year of our Lord, but I think with 2020, we've stopped uh, saying that because the year is uh, somewhat cursed <laughs> or it's perhaps more than somewhat cursed. Oh, I like that. We went almost all the way. We are going to get stuck on the crate. Um, it's a par five, though. This is, it's so generous with the uh, with the pars here. I mean, that was only stroke three. This is for a birdie. birdie. That'd be a very nice. I, I appreciate that. After playing so many golf with your friends courses that are like every course is a hole in one. I learned. I learned from mouth. Sometimes you got a full send. <laughs> this is a par five. Are you insane? Albatross. An albatross. You know, this game's got heavy, um, perfect round disc golf energy right now. That's what I would say. It's like a high def version of, of a somewhat niche pursuit. Okay, fair enough. Oh, you know what? Now I understand the purpose of the water hazard. At first I was like, we'll just go right by that, dummy. Now I'm like, I get it. I, get, I understand. I understand what you got going on. That's going to do it, dude. That's going to... Oh, no! Water hazard and the ball gets stuck in the non-Newtonian fluid. You can't make this stuff up, dude. This is a par six. I'm begging you for mercy. Thank you. That's mercy. That's mercy in today's world. Can we at least get a par? The answer to that question will be no. But a, a single bogey on this... Is fairly not is not that draconian. I'm I'm relatively pleased. What do we need? Oh, what the heck is a turbo boost? Come on now. I th we hit the dead zone. We hit the stanchion. It's been sucked up. I was just about to be like, we got this game all figured out. All of a sudden you hit me with the bogey. Bogey. You hit me with a speed boost. Alright. Take, take me back to the menu. We got... Yeah, I really want to go back to the menu. We got 700 coins. What do I do with these coins? We could purchase a, a bowler hat. 
Per oh, no, I would rather not purchase a, a red baseball cap, please. Uh, how about a witch's hat? This is a little bit less controversial. Oh, dude, it's like Fortnite items. 1500 for the laser glasses. Are you obs insane? Have you lost your mind? 1200 for the crown. Anushanka, also known as a winter hat. Well, um... Sure. I, I, French policeman hat. That's, that's more my speed. I don't know about that one. Um, you know what? I think uh, I think I'm a sleeping hat sort of guy myself. Let, let's put that on there. And uh, what else you got for me? Tournament, hot seat, hot seat, split screen, multiplayer. Multiplayer. Play matches over the internet with up to four players in real time. It's always risky. Create or join a match. I'll join. The match is full, already started, or doesn't exist. Um, I'll create a match. And then I will wait for players. Hello, Internet. Would you like to join my game? Just throwing that out there. What course do we like here? Oh, dude, put me on course 52. There you go. There's a selling point. It's one course per week. You could do, you could on Saturday night, you could do one nine hole course of golf and then just keep running that. Let's be realistic. Nobody's joining this game right now. Um, so we will leave the match. <laughs> Can I just match name cannot be empty. All right. So it's, you don't really want to do like a matchmaking sort of situation here. I think you want to make sure you got friends coming in here. Hot seat is you just trade off. Split screen, you can go at the same time. All right, so we're going to do more tournaments. More tournaments then. Free courses. Premium courses. Oh, it's easy. so premium courses, it costs you some of your money to play. Not real money, but in-game like rewards. But if you do better, if you get par, you get your money back. Okay, it's kind of an interesting mechanic. I should mention, by the way, while we're talking about in-game stars... I did receive a code for this from the developers. Thank you for that. Um, and and post this hole. Water hazard. Oh no, my coins. Post this hole. I will start. Uh, I, I will go look for what the price of this is on Steam. I think it's fifteen bucks. Oh, dude, we're good start. Birdie. We got a birdie. Okay, hold on. Yeah, it's fifteen bucks. All right. I kind of like that. This puts a little extra sauce on it. So you can earn coins a little bit faster if you're not afraid to, to go the extra mile. Whoa, whoa. Don't drop me back in the hole. You're not, you don't have this, you don't have the stones. You don't have the stones to drop me back in the hole. Oh, it's okay. I mean, we're, we're coming for that 250. I'm gonna earn me some Cyclops glasses from X-Men 1. Oh, what is this? Par 8? That's why they call it a premium course, baby. Send me. I mean, it's... It might be possible to do what you want me to do here. I'm not comfortable enough with the physics yet to try to do it. I'll say, so that was only stroke 2, dude. Come around here. This will be stroke three. We're going to get it in five. We might even get lucky. And get it in four. No, we're going to get it in five, though. Is that an albatross? albatross? Oh, you love it. It's the only mini golf game with fully voice scoring system. All right, so we don't want to land in the holes to begin with, but we do want to land in the second set of holes. Which one? I think the further ahead you could get, the better, but realistically, I don't know if we can finesse that. Oh my God. Are you kidding me, man? Just cause like the sand trap is gonna gonna cause us some problems you know oh there's no water hazard there oh okay so this is almost like I'm just gonna be honest these premium courses are a little bit too easy 
You can make a lot of mistakes and still come out winning your wager, which I'll always take. Eagle. At the oh, eagle. I don't feel like I deserve that, but I'll take it. At the end of the day, like uh, there's just something somewhat calming for some reason. No, no, no. About watching someone play mini golf and about playing some miniature golf yourself. I don't know what it is. Speaks to something deep water hazard deep within the human condition perhaps something in our in our animal instincts is like you know if i asked you like you want to see a man hit a little golf ball you'd be like maybe not really maybe not now occasionally but not now but if you see me going for it you're like well i'll keep watching to see how this turns out you know you just got to see maybe the brain likes to Likes to test its own physics engine, you know? It's like, I think it's gonna go here. Let's let's see where it actually goes. Maybe I don't know what I'm talking about. This is also a serious possibility. But if you'll excuse me, I'm 16 minutes into uh, explaining why I like miniature golf video games for, I don't know, about the 90th time. So, I think it's fair to say this one is not really doing anything you haven't seen before. But I think it's also fair to say that if you wanted something you hadn't seen before, you might not be interested in watching a video of digital mini golf. You know, water hazard. It's a water hazard is the thing. You gotta, you gotta be ready for that one, brother. There, dude, I'm, I'm impressed with myself. I think this, this got us pretty much where we need to go. And then just a light, just a wafer thin hit here. I can live with this. Thanks to the sand. Oh, you gotta hit it a little hard. You didn't have to hit it that hard, but we're still like... That's a birdie. <laughs> it's undeserved, but I'll take it. I think if you hit minus 15, you get the, the maximum payout, so... Obviously, that's... I mean, I'm interested. I'm interested and I'm invested on this par 8. I'll, we'll say that's huge luck. And now you're you're free. Oh, you're not free because there's still still some holes back here, some shias. Don't put me on hold again. Okay, good stuff. Minus two. Eagle. Eagle. I'll I'll take an eagle on that one. We're at minus eleven. We do need to hit two eagles if we want to get to minus fifteen. That's not easy. That's not an easy task that you're tasking me with. Uh, although this is a don't this being a par 7 seems a little bit ambitious they didn't even have voice for that they're just like a oh, freaking minus 5 dude great job <laughs> what on earth is this looks like a vertiginous golf hole um, hmm I mean if you could land it there I think that's that's the dream and then really I think you can afford to just kind of send it right down mains oh please <laughs> right down main street condor. that's a condor that's a minus four and we got 300 as our reward and we're a little bit early by, like, our normal Northern Lion tries status that moved. These are not bolted to the ground. Um, but I think we've seen pretty much all there is to see in, in Mini Golf Club. Look, it's the kind of thing where you got to be some kind of sicko to be like, this is what I want to do with my single player time. I'm that kind of sicko. I don't know if you guys are there, too. Um, I feel like many people will not be. But if you are... This could be for you. But where it really exists is for the diehard mini golf, uh, at least on my impression so far, the diehard mini golf digital experiencer who has a group of friends that you could play this with and has played, uh, you know, all of the courses in golf with your friends and golf it to death and is like, I, I can't stand to see Forest, Temple, Candy, and Pirate anymore, you know? We can, we can mix it up this week for the Masters boys and try something different. So that's where I think uh, Mini Golf Club exists.
It is, uh, it's, it's yet another mini golf game on Steam. I would say it's unessential, but, but pleasant, you know? That's, that's kind of my, my takeaway here. Oh, jeez. And yet I'm still playing. Just so I can get a condor. Just so I can impress you with a condor. Anyway, thanks for watching. I will put a link in the video description below to go uh, check out Mini Golf Club on Steam if you are interested. Uh, a cute and uh, competent little miniature golf game with online multiplayer. Although, bring your own friends. BYOF. For now, thanks for watching and thanks to the developers for sending me a code or the publisher for sending me a code. There will be a link in the video description. If you like the games that you see, Add them to your wish list, you know? That way when it goes on sale, you could be like, well, maybe at original price, I wasn't a huge fan, but now that it's like, you know, 75 cents, I'm all in. Apart from that, if you enjoyed the episode, I'm going to assume you did. You watched all 20 minutes and 46 seconds. Click the like button. It's the single best way to help me out as a content creator, especially if you're already subscribed. Clicking that like button helps me on these series, especially as they go more long term, to get a little bit of YouTube algorithm sauce so that I can keep getting new people in and keep the community thriving. So thank you guys so much for doing that. If you enjoyed the episode, please click the like button. Apart from that, thanks for watching. I'll see you tomorrow with another video. See ya!